in this video we are going to discuss third property of properties of autocorrelation function of energy signal same property we can repeat in uh, uh, properties of autocorrelation function of power signal also there i am not going to give any proof for that but same property we are having there also i i will just give the listing of properties in uh, properties of power signal related to autocorrelation function here this is the property number 3 which states that if tau is increased that means searching scanning or delay parameter increase then your correlation function is going to decrease that means autocorrelation function value is going to decrease if your tau is decreasing autocorrelation function will increase and it is having maximum at tau equal to 0. So these are three statements we are having and I want to explain more about these three points. So generally what is meant by autocorrelation function means so r of tau is equal to integral minus infinity to infinity x of t x of t minus or t plus t tau dt. So this is autocorrelation function. This is measure of similarity between signal and shifted version of the same signal. If tau is increasing that means we are shifting the signal uh, by so many positions then measure of similarity may be decreased. That means if you are having any signal like this if you are shifting this signal by so many positions then if you are comparing then measure of similarity will be decreased practically. For example, if you are just shifting like this, if you are just shifting like this, you, you are having measure of similarity in this region. You may have measure, measure of similarity in this region in between these two signals. So you can see I am overlapping, I am overlapping these two. What is the measure of similarity between these two signals? I am taking on the same plane. This is x of t and this is x of t minus tau say. If tau is too high then the signals will be like this on axis. If you, if you overlap that signals, if you are uh, going to compare that signal on the same axis, those signals will be like this. Is there any me measure of similarity? or the measure of similarity is going to decrease by increasing t that means you are shifting so many positions then you will get less measure of similarity that means less autocorrelation function. For example, if you are shifting just a few positions that means you are shifting from here to here like this. If you overlap these two signals, you are having some measure of similarity here in this portion. That means I am just giving practical scenarios. So here you are having measure of similarity between your signal and your shifted version of signal where you consider the number of shifts is few. That means the tau value is very small value. Like this, if you consider tau as very high, the measure of similarity will be decreased, autocorrelation function will be decreased. If you consider tau as low, your autocorrelation function that means measure of similarity increases. For example, if you consider tau is equal to 0, then what will happen? If you consider tau is equal to 0, then you are going to compare your signal with the same signal, then 100% similarity is there. So where you will get maximum autocorrelation function value means at a tau equivalent to 0. That is the reason behind why we are getting maximum correlation function value, autocorrelation function value at tau is equivalent to 0 means this is the meaning. When tau is equal to 0, we are just comparing the signal with the same signal. Then there is 100% similarity. So that is why autocorrelation function value is maximum at tau is equal to 0. It will decreases with the increase in tau and it will increases with the decrease in tau. So now, so here I given equivalent of that statement. So here I given a statement here. So modulus of r of tau that may be increased or decreased 
less than r of 0 that means if tau value is positive or negative that is always less than or equal to r of 0 that means obviously whatever the autocorrelation function noted at tau is equal to 0 is maximum compared to all other values of tau. I want to prove this property. I want to prove this property. Here to prove this property I want to consider two signals x of t and x of t minus tau or t plus tau you can consider your wish. You can consider t minus tau or t plus tau. I am going to consider these signals. So, here if I consider these signals, I am going to get one value that is x of t plus r minus x of t plus t whole square value I am going to get here. So, this is always greater than or equivalent to 0. Why? Because for example, if you are having 1 minus 2 whole square or um, a minus b whole square if you are having a minus b whole square this value is equivalent to a square plus b square minus 2ab if ab is equivalent to 1 and 2 a is equivalent to 1 and b is equivalent to 2 so this is equivalent to 1 plus so b is equivalent to 2 means 2 to 4 minus 2 into 1 into 2 4 5 minus 4 you are getting 1 for example, a is equal to 1, b is equal to 1. In that case, you are going to get 0. And after that, if you consider any value like uh, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, the minimum value you are getting is 0. Maximum you are getting positive value. You are not, used to, you are not going to get any negative value. Why? Because if this result is, no need to go for this value also x of t plus or minus x of t plus tau. You are adding or subtracting this signal from the actual signal. That may lead to positive result or negative result. The result of this addition of two signals or subtraction of two signals may be positive or negative. When you are squaring that result, then definitely if minus is there in the result also, it is getting to plus. It is going to modify like positive signal. So, that is why written it is greater than or equivalent to 0. If this x of t plus or minus x of t plus capital T is 0, 0 square will give you 0. If this result, the addition or subtraction of these two signals is positive, positive value square will give you a positive value. For example, the addition or subtraction of these two signals is negative, negative square also you are going to get positive value. So, that is why this is always greater than or is equal to 0. Now, you can see I want to expand this signal. So, x square of t plus or minus x square of, so no, no need to use plus or minus here. Always in a plus b whole square and a minus b whole square formulas, you are going to get a square plus b square. After that, in the place of 2ab, you are having minus 2ab in a minus b whole square. So, here x square of t plus x square of t plus tau. So, this is tau plus or minus 2x of t into x of t plus tau is greater than or is equal to 0. Now, I am sending this to that side. So, that is equal to x square of t plus x square of t plus tau greater than or equal to minus or plus 2x of t, x of t plus capital T. So, now consider integration on both sides. I am going to consider con integration on both sides. So, if I consider integration on both sides, then what will happen means x square of t dt plus integral x square of t plus tau dt is equal to integral of 2x of t, x of t plus tau dt. So, this will come. So, I am writing here. So, this is equal to integral of this side also I am considering integration. 
minus r plus you just keep here 2 x of t x of t plus tau dt. Now you can see this is nothing but energy as I am uh, discussing about when I am discussing about energy of the signal how you will get energy of the signal means in any manner either in normal form or in a shifted form if you are calculating if you are squaring and integrating that signal in the normal form or in shifted form you are going to get the energy of the signal how you will calculate energy of the signal means just by squaring and integrating the signals in the limits you are going to get energy of the signal in that particular limits so here we can say this is energy of x of t this is also called as energy of x of t if you shifted some positions and if you calculated also you are going to get the same energy so here i am going to write e energy and this is also energy of the signal is equal to minus or plus here i am going to consider this two outside remaining thing i want to see here integral minus infinity to infinity you can consider minus infinity to infinity x of t x of t plus tau dt that is nothing but autocorrelation formula so we can write this as 2 into r of tau now you can see so this is nothing but 2e 2e is equivalent to minus r plus 2 into r of tau this 2 and 2 we can cancel and according to the property of this autocorrelation function we are having our second property that is energy of the signal is nothing but autocorrelation function at a tau is equivalent to 0 this property we already derived in the last class property 2 according to property 2 we can write this is not equal to this is greater than or equal to you can see this is greater than or equal to this is r of 0 greater than or equivalent to minus r plus r of tau. So, if you want to calculate modulus, if you want to take out this minus r plus, then you need to consider modulus of r of tau. You can see r of 0 is greater, modulus of r of tau is lesser than r of 0, r of 0 is greater than modulus of r of tau, both are same. So, by this we can say we proved this property that means autocorrelation function at r is n will give you maximum value maximum energy so in all remaining cases if you calculated autocorrelation function then you will get some lesser value compared with r of 0 and if you are increasing tau autocorrelation function will decrease if you are decreasing tau scaling factor scanning or delay uh, parameter then your autocorrelation function will increase if you decrease tau you will increase autocorrelation function if you increase tau you can decrease autocorrelation function this is also very very important property the final statement is also very important modulus of r of tau is always less than or equivalent to r of 0 r of 0 is the maximum autocorrelation function value that is noted in the function.